everyone and welcome! Before getting started with the implementation of the library, I wanted you to have a look at the end result. So we are going to be defining here a couple of custom input components. So we are going to define the font awesome input that you have here several examples and we are going to define the material design input. Also several examples here. So let's switch to a larger screen so that we can see the examples better. So as you can see, what we have here is a normal input for comparison. And here we have a series of input fields that contain here a small icon. So this helps improve user experience by better identifying the field. So as you can see, we are using here the font awesome icons. We have taken them from here. So this is a public and open source. We can use these icons in our application. It's not a problem. We can use the smaller version of the icons. You have probably seen them in many applications around the internet. So we have here examples of buttons that use these icons and that are in any other way identical to a normal input. So that's the idea as we tab through them, we can see that the behavior that this component has is exactly identical to a normal input. We can use any of the font awesome icons available. Also, we have here several examples of some material design examples. This is another directive that we are about to build. It's very similar to this one, but there is a couple of differences still. And in this case, we are using icons from the material design Google library. So this comes with a set of SVG icons. So these are icons that are defined using SVG and not images. So they are ideally suited for mobile because the download of the SVG doesn't take a lot of bandwidth. And we have here literally hundreds of icons that we can use to enhance the user experience of our applications. So going back here to our sample application, this is what we are about to build. It's a deceivingly simple looking component that will bring a lot of the Angular functionality that we will be using to build more complex libraries. We are going to see things like content projection. We are going to see how to style components. We are going to talk about API design of components, how to override the encapsulated styles. We are going to cover many of the most important notions of component design and content projection with this simple example. There are actually a couple of tricks that we will need to use to get a behavior that is basically identical to a normal input behavior. So compatible with the tab mechanism and shift tab with the focus behavior. So we are still going to use quite some tricks to implement these small components. We are going to introduce testing. So being a small example, it's ideally suited to get an introduction to the testing ecosystem of Angular. And we're going to finish off by publishing this in NPM and looking at best practices for doing so. And please remember that this is just the starting point. We will be progressively increasing the difficulty of the components that we are about to build. But this component will already bring a lot of functionality. So this is coming right up in the next few lessons.